Welcome to Learning React with me. Today, we are going to see how to create class-based components in React. To see how to install Node.js and create a simple React startup project, please watch the video on Create First React Application. Okay, before we actually create a class-based components, let me show you how this landing page is rendered. This is our startup project which is a single page application. In the public folder, we have a file called index.html and this is where we render all our React components taking root element as reference. And index.js is where we are telling React to take root element as reference and render app component. And app.js is our app component and this is the content which we saw in our landing page. Now, to start our application, just go to the terminal and enter npm start command. Just press enter and this launches your application. With a basic picture in place, let's create a class component. Let me quickly remove all this content from app.js so that we make a room for our newly created class component. In order to do so, let me just create a folder called components. And I'll use this folder to put all my components. So let me create another file called demo class.js. So this is the class uh, JS file which we are going to use to create a class based component. I'll show you the basic structure of creating a class based component. First, we need to import React from React library. And then every class based component will start with the keyword class. And it's a convention to use the class name same as the file name. And every class will extend a component provided by the React library. So every class component will have a render method which would render all our HTML input within this enclosed, enclosed within the bracket onto the screen. And let's return some dummy HTML. So, and in order to use this class, we need to export it. And we use the keyword export and I want this component to be exported by default. Therefore, we use the keyword default followed by the component that you want to export. In this case, it is demo class. So our demo class is ready. But now in order to see this component on my screen, I have to go to app.js and within the enclosed div, let me just render this and in order to render this, we have to import it first. Import demo class and this is the path where my demo class is present inside components folder with the name demo class and dot js extension is not required since react will automatically identify this file and now I want to render this component. That's it. We are ready to see our class based component. Here we go. We have our class based component. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please share and subscribe.